Dr. Ornate, let me start here with you. An open-ended question, but you can go where you want. Just how bad is the coronavirus as a virus? I'm going to put this into it. If it is mutating as quickly or as often as some are saying, and I think you referred to it, that you said that it is, if that's the case, how likely is it that a vaccine then can even be created? Of course, this is a problem, especially with RNA viruses like like the coronavirus. They make a lot of mistakes in transcribing their genome, and that means they mutate more rapidly. That's why we have different flu vaccines every year. We might be able to get a vaccine. We might not. We don't know how effective it would be. We don't know what its side effects would be, whether the vaccine might even do more harm than good, like the swine flu vaccine at the time of the swine flu scare back in the 1970s. We really don't know exactly how bad this virus is. One very important feature is what are the age groups that are attacked by this. The 1918 flu virus, instead of felling primarily older, chronically ill people, attacked young people who were working in the prime of their lives. And if this happens on a wide scale, if you have the people who are responsible for keeping the country working, you know, the people who drive the trucks, the people who keep the electricity flowing, um, and the people who just do, do the things that our technologic society depends upon, things could really collapse very quickly. And it appears that the median age of, of people attacked by the coronavirus may be lower than, than we're used to. And then the other impact is just how seriously does it damage the body. If you get the flu, you might get pneumonia and it might be bacterial and you might recover from that and you would be normal after you get well. But this virus also appears in some cases to cause multi-organ failure, which means some of the people not only have a severe pneumonia that requires ventilation artificially, but kidney failure. And 12% of the people who were reported in the Lancet toward the end of January had cardiac damage. So this would explain how it could happen hmm. that a healthy person would be walking down the street and fall over dead, as was reported, and maybe not entirely, maybe people didn't believe it, but this is one mechanism by which it could happen.